Welcome to Movie Recap! In today's video, we will be going through the 2018 fantasy adventure movie, The Little Mermaid. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The tale begins with a story telling about The Little Mermaid. A long time ago, the mermaids lived in a harmonious kingdom in the deep blue. Below, their parents gave them the freedom to go everywhere in the depths, except the surface. But until they reach the age of 15, they will be allowed to travel the surface above. The moment has come for the little mermaid. She excitedly ascends the surface and suddenly discovers a prince that is helplessly drowning in the water. The little mermaids get astonished by the look that make her save the prince and bring him to the shore. Shortly after, a girl approaches the shore and nurses the prince. The little mermaid hastily descends to the sea. As she swims in the ocean, she begins to wonder what she felt when she saw the prince. As a result, she wants to become a human to experience the life above. Then one day, due to her desperation, she negotiates to a magnificent wizard that she has to find a true love above. But when she fails, her soul must need to surrender to him. She agrees, but unfortunately the prince is in love with another girl, making the little mermaid bond her life to the wizard forever. The grandmother is now done reading the tale, but before that she asks her two lovely girls if they want to know some secret story about the mermaids. At first, the eldest is doubtful of the mermaids, but the grandmother insists that they exist, especially if you personally witness them. Due to that thought, the girls get so interested to know the story that they urge their grandmother to reveal the secret. The grandmother is delighted to see their eagerness to listen, so she proceeds to tell the story. A long time ago, a little girl believed in all magical creatures, including fairies, leprechauns, and mermaids. Her name is Ellie. Ellie is currently living with her Uncle Cam. Since he doesn't have her parents to live with her, Uncle Cam really loves Ellie so much. In the beautiful garden, Ellie is having fun with all the other girls, until she notices that she is having trouble breathing. The other girl rushes to call his Uncle Cam to carry her and assist her in taking her medicine. At this point, Cam sees some light even though Ellie's sickness doesn't have a cure yet, and even a doctor can't figure out her specific situation. In the next scene, the boss of Cam interrupts his task to bring him the news about the miracle water in Mississippi. At first, Cam is skeptical about the information and states to his boss that they wrote several writings about it. Still, his boss argues that this one is different, as hundreds of people testifying their experience on the healing water that can be found in the Mississippi. Since everything is all set up, his boss commands him to stop his progress on his current paper and prioritize the task, whether this news is true or a hoax. The next day, Ellie and her uncle Cam arrive at their temporary house. Laureen, a lovely and attractive woman, welcomes them to Mississippi and tours them at their house. Lorraine and Cam find that the interior design is really great. The aesthetics of the home makes them want to stay longer. Also, the kindness of Lorraine. The next day, Cam meets Peggy Jean at the Douglas General Store. Peggy Jean is one of the lucky people who got healed by the miracle water. Peggy starts to share that she was lame, but she's now grateful because the miraculous water allows her to be flitting around like a social butterfly that talks. Cam asks Peggy to interview her about her experience. Since C is desperate to finish his task, Peggy accepts and offers to gather a group of people. To assist him in completing his mission, the circus is now open to show the entertainment that they have prepared for their audiences. While Ellie and Cam are wandering in the circus, Ellie has developed an interest in visiting a fortune teller's stall. Ellie gives her hand to the fortune teller and begins to share everything that she could read on her palm. According to the fortune teller, Ellie is special above all in the world. She has powerful magic, a spirit of the ocean. After reading a palm, the fortune teller gives her a necklace that is made up of pearls or free. The fortune teller then pulls Cam's hand to read his palm after reading Ellie's, but unfortunately she gets some extremely awful news. According to her, he must guard the most treasure that he has. Due to these, Cam finds it weird and expresses his gratitude to the fortune teller and walks straight to watch the show. Ellie and Cam enter Lockheed's Mysterium to watch the show. Lockheed entertains the audiences and expresses that mermaids are not a myth and later on reveals the mermaid. Ellie is really astounded by its appearance, causing her tears to fall down. Soon after they stroll around the circus, Ellie asks her uncle Cam to let her ride the ferris wheel. 
which he agrees to. While Ellie is enjoying a ride, Cam witnesses three guys attempting to commit an act on the girl. He rushes straight to the men and tells them to abandon their intentions. The grown-ups move backward when Lockie approaches them. The girl is now safe and moves away going inside their tent. The day after, Cam interviews a bunch of people who use the miracle water. But due to his surprise, he finds out that the user's claims are not solid and efficient. Due to these, he concludes that it is just a hoax. Cam eagerly interviews Mr. Lockie. He asks anything that he could ask to justify the claims about the healing water. However, Mr. Lockie refuses to give the answers, as magic has secrets and cannot be revealed to anyone. Despite Mr. Lockie's responses, Cam continues to persuade him by asking another questions. But their meeting has come to an end. While Ellie and Cam walk in the middle of the woods, they see the mermaid. Ellie is really excited to see her closer and asks her why she has legs. Elizabeth, the mermaid, didn't keep her secrets hidden. Since she thinks Ellie has a soft spot for mermaids, so she reveals that mermaids may have legs at low tide. Cam is really determined to figure out the truth about the healing water, so he risks his life by trespassing into the circus. During his search, he hears a beautiful voice singing. He follows the sound and later on discovers that Elizabeth is the one who sings. The content of her song is the song of her life, expressing her desire to have someone who could save her from her situation. Also before he finds Elizabeth, he luckily overhears the conversation of Mr. Lockie and his colleague. He finds a pendant that has been hidden on a piano. He also figures out the passcode of it by playing the keys of the piano. However, Mr. Lockie enters the room during their conversation and asks Cam to get out because he is trespassing. It is a special night for Ellie and Cam because they are going to experience the pride of Mississippi, the ship, everyone is enjoying their moment. While dancing through the rhythm of the music, but when Elizabeth sees the moon, she quickly runs together with Cam to the top. To appreciate the dazzling light of the moon, their conversation gets deeper and deeper, making them pursue a romantic kiss. Unfortunately, the wheel stops functioning. The only way for it to move is to wait for the high tide. At the point, Elizabeth runs away from Cam because if the high tide comes, she will immediately transform into a mermaid. Cam is confused, so he chases down Elizabeth, jumps off the ship, and rushes to her. When Cam swims in the water, he sees Elizabeth in her mermaid appearance. Elizabeth is worrying because everyone is starting to be afraid when they see her with a tail. But to her surprise, Cam doesn't show any frustration and accepts her genuine individuality. At the moment, Elizabeth starts to share everything about her life. She shares that she was tricked by Lockie, and as a consequence, she must adhere to the commands of Mr. Lockie because they are bonded. So, she also says that Mr. Lockie is using her to have an effective advertisement about the healing water. Lockie begins to summon her, and Elizabeth quickly swims to go back to the circus. Cam finally gets home, but Laureen delivers the bad news that Ellie is missing. Cam quickly goes to the room to roam everything and he finds a feather that signals a person from the circus. Cam rushes to the circus to find Ellie. Elizabeth warns Ellie about Mr. Lockie, but their conversation is interrupted because Mr. Lockie needs Ellie to have a conversation. Ellie is fortunate to get informed about the motives of Mr. Lockie, so she courageously rejects the offer and confronts him that she doesn't want to be tricked. In this situation, while Cam is searching for Ellie, the fortune teller guides them to where Ellie can be found. Ellie is locked in a cage, and the only way to get out of it is to find the keys. Cam carefully gets the keys because the guard is sleeping. The show is ongoing. Everyone is excited to witness the mermaid again, but when Mr. Lockie is about to show off Elizabeth, the fortune teller uses her magic to stop the time. Everyone starts to stop and freeze, except for his colleagues. Elizabeth's tails are transformed into feet once more by the fortune enhancement. After that, they hurriedly run to get on the train, and as the train is about to head onto the ocean, the effect of the magic has come to its end. Mr. Lockie notices that Elizabeth is missing, so he briskly follows them as he knows where they will be headed. While they are on their way to the ocean, they start to exchange their stories about how Mr. Lockie tricked them, and in the middle of the conversation, the servants of Mr. Lockie chase them to the fight, but they fail to win. After their fight, Mr. Lockie uses his magic to stop the train. But he is unlucky because they already escaped the train. However, while they are driving, Mr. Lockie still manages to locate where they are. So he follows. When the fortune teller senses that Mr. Lockie is already near them, she pushes Cam to go first so she can slow down the progress of Mr. Lockie from chasing Elizabeth. 
However, her powers are not enough to defeat him, but her friend sees her situation and he quickly helps her. But on the other hand, Mr. Locky disappears. Cam is about to approach the ocean. But Mr. Locky reaches them. Cam is very eager to save Elizabeth, so he sprints towards Mr. Locky, but his abilities are not enough to defeat him. Luckily, the fortune teller appears and Elizabeth offers her a pendant which could help her fight Mr. Locky. At this moment, Ellie joins the fight. As the charm enables her to have powers, the fortune teller and Ellie collaborate to defeat Mr. Locky. Due to their united powers, Mr. Locky has been swayed by their powers to drown himself in the deep oceans. As soon after their victory, Cam rushes to Elizabeth to bring her to the ocean. She restores strength and maximizes her time to swim for her fast recovery. Ellie and Cam burst into joyful tears as they successfully saved Elizabeth. Still, unfortunately, Ellie starts to cough again. So Elizabeth gets back to take her to the deep. Because the deep water could heal her and Elizabeth tells them that whatever Ellie is experiencing difficulties in breathing, the only thing that she can do is to swim in the oceans to obtain healing. The movie ends when his grandmother ends telling the story. The two beautiful girls are very stunned by the story of the mermaids, but her grandmother starts to cough, so she tells them that it is the perfect time to swim. She walks away from them and turns on the music box. Due to that, it reveals that Ellie and the grandmother are the same person. She was the one who saw and discovered a mermaid. Her granddaughter saw a mermaid's tail which surprised them and made them believe that mermaids are not myth and legends. It is real. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.